and Haley. It's a joy to say that today is the beginning of a brand new future for you. We met to discuss your future and how you'll spend your money, how you'll handle conflict. I ask you what initially drew you to one another. Malik, you mentioned how much you would admired Haley. Her reputation as a godly woman had preceded her and so you were scared to death. As well you should have been. <laughs> she, oh, she was way out of your league. <laughs> Haley, everybody loves Malik. Just we're walking up right here. I said, look how everybody grins at you. Everybody looks at you like you're up to something or they're up to something and they don't know what it is. You have a reputation as the greatest guy in the world. And yet, what she heard was that you had begun to follow Jesus in a new and exciting way. Malik, nice guys can do a lot of nice things and even make a name for themselves, but men of God leave a legacy. Malik Keyshawn Styles. <laughs> Malik and I first met freshman year of high school. We were going to football practice. He probably got hurt in the game. I didn't get hurt, but I didn't want to practice, so I acted like I was hurt. So we went and jogged the whole practice. And I don't know what was said that day, but from that day, I gained a brother. And ever since then, I've had someone any day I need to call to check in on. And it's not hard to see how he got that. In the past two years, he'll talk about his journey and what he's done to strive for God. And I've never told you this, bud, but I've looked up to you for the past year. And I know you'll say you look up to me, but it's the other way around, bud. <laughs> this man will wake up at 5 a.m. to make a Bible study, to then get to work early, to then go coach kids because he's committed to three teams. You've never even played baseball, and you're a baseball coach. <laughs> Haley, you've been the best decision that my best friend's ever made. And if he's half the husband, he is the best friend to me. You guys have a long, joyful marriage together. Toast to my best friend and his beautiful bride. Thank you. Haley. Thank you for the way you've loved me to this point today. It's been unconditional beyond my comprehension. You are the joy I will cling to for the rest of our lives. I vow to put God first because without his love, mercy, grace, and strength, I am not enough. Your feelings, your entire life is more precious to me than my own. I vow to hold myself accountable for our spiritual growth. That I will not be perfect, know my effort, and my pursuit for your love will be daily. bigger brother and it would be typical for her to look up to me but in all reality I looked up to her everyone here knows what kind of woman my little sister is she's a woman of God she's a woman of character of integrity I bet everyone here feels like they have a close relationship with her and that's just a testimony to what kind of woman that she is the way Malik conducts himself you can tell what kind of man he is and so I could not be more happy with who Haley has married. You know, I grew up with two younger sisters, and so I'm, I'm so fortunate now to finally have a brother. And so Malik, a welcome to the family. We love you. Haley, I love you so much. I'm always here for you. Haley and Malik.
Malik, today's the day we've been waiting for. I've been praying for my future husband for a very long time. A husband that will lead me like Christ does the church, one that has a servant heart, and one that loves unconditionally. You are the answer to my prayers. As we start our forever journey together, I have been thinking about a few verses. James 1, verses 2 and 3. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Lamentations 3, 22, 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. With both of these being our favorite verses, I think they will get us through each day. We're going to go through tough times, sad times, trying times, and lots of great times too. The only way for us to get through those times is to remember that His mercies are new every morning. Not only are His mercies new, but we have to extend that same mercy and grace each day to each other. I love you more than anything in this world and cannot wait to be your wife. Let's do this thing. Malik and Haley, by the power entrusted to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, because of your commitment to the Lord and to one another, gives me great joy to pronounce you man and wife. Malik, you may kiss your bride. Oh.